Welcome to the Next Level Facebook Ads Podcast with Phil Graham. We help you master Facebook ads and give you an unfair advantage over your competition. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Next Level Facebook Ads Podcast, episode 360. I'm Phil Graham. I'm so glad you're here because I'm going to be sharing the key differences and traits that I've seen in successful Facebook advertisers versus those who are not successful or not at the level they want to be at yet. I've worked with so many different types of clients and people over the years. And I looked at the most successful ones and I really identified several traits and differences that they shared that were different from the people that were not at the level where they wanted to be at yet. And I'm gonna share those differences and traits with you guys today because I believe they are a big part of why those who were su successful really did well. Now, of course, there's always going to be exceptions. There's always going to be outliers that what I'm going to share with you today, these traits really hold true most of the time, if not all of the time, when I go back and look at the data and really analyze it. So this should be very important and really helpful for everyone, whether you're an advanced, experienced advertiser, or maybe you're brand new or you're somewhere in the middle, there's something for everybody here. This could be a huge, impactful episode. I am super glad you guys are here. I cannot believe that it's already April. How crazy is that? This year is going by so fast, it is ridiculous. But before we jump into the content, I am going to keep this episode short and full of value. But if you're looking for any kind of one-on-one -on -one coaching so you can learn ads, the right way. I do believe coaching one-on-one -on -one is the best way in the world to learn something. So whether you're looking for that, or maybe you're looking for somebody to run your ads for you so you can do what you do best. For either one of those things, you can go to my website, philgramdigital.com, or you can DM me on Instagram at philgramdigital. I would love to connect with you. We'll set up a short Zoom call and go from there. So let's jump right in. I want to share these traits and differences with you that I've noticed amongst some of the most successful advertisers. Number one is they typically have the willingness to bet on themselves and invest in themselves and their business, whether that means time or money or both. So they might not have started out this way in all cases, but they usually get to a point where they know that it's important. They need to invest money, whether it's coaching to learn how to do this the right way or paying somebody to run their ads for them. Plus obviously investing in the ad spend, but they're investing in their business. And that is so important. Sometimes people will come to me after trying things themselves for a long time. And one of the commonalities I'll notice from those types of people is that they've tried first without really investing money or time or both in their business and it didn't work. It's the classic chicken or the egg, the cart before the horse. Somebody will want to advertise, but not until they made enough money to cover advertising. But if they don't know how to advertise properly, how is that gonna happen? So most of the successful people have realized they need to invest in themselves and their business, both money and time. And that's really important. Number two, most successful advertisers have lofty goals, but also realistic expectations in terms of timing. They know that it takes time and testing and that it's completely normal. And if they run an ad for a week and it doesn't work yet, they don't freak out. They know this is normal. They also typically ignore all the get rich quick idiots that are out there and the push button so-called magical templates. They ignore all that crap. They know that it takes time and testing. So again, they have lofty big goals, but also realistic expectations. Number three, most of these successful people, I would say probably all of them are doers, not talkers or over planners. There are so many people that love to talk, but not do. They might even talk a good game, but they don't do. That's a problem. 
There's also a lot of people that love to plan. They love to get ready to do, but they never actually do something. And you don't want to be there either. They also, the ones that are successful also seek out other doers, not talkers. So it's very, very important. There's a lot of people that teach ads that aren't running ads for clients themselves. They're just talking about it. They're not doing it. You want to avoid those kinds of people. And you don't want to be that kind of person yourself. The next trait I see common amongst most of these successful advertisers is that they are really good at tuning out all the noise. And most of these people do not waste a bunch of time on social media, but they do leverage the attention of the people who do, which is really most of the world, right? So they're very focused. They're tuning out the noise. It doesn't mean they don't spend time on social media, but they don't waste a bunch of time on social media. Big difference. They're very, very focused. And that's very common amongst most of these successful advertisers. The next really important trait is that they don't cheap out on things that matter, whether that's the person or agency that's going to run their ads for them, or a course they're going to take, or coaching that they're going to get, or their ad spend, or something that is really important. Those things that I mentioned are insanely important. That's not something you want to cheap out on. If you're going to cheap out on something and really go for the lowest cost, most affordable option, do that with something else, but not something that determines whether you get in front of your audience or not, or how you show up in the marketplace in front of your audience. That's one of the most important things to a business. That is not something you want to be cheap with. So be cheap with your Netflix subscription or something else, but not something that dramatically can hurt or help your business. The next trait I found with successful advertisers is they definitely, in most cases, do not freak out and turn ads off too fast. This is one of the things that's way more common that I see all the time with advertisers that are not where they want to be. And sometimes they'll panic and they want to turn something off within days, which is just crazy. Some of our best ads took a few weeks or longer to start kicking in and doing well. And that's normal. I mean, there's data we can see to see if it's on the right track or not. But some people, if it doesn't give them a result in like two days, they want to shut it off. And the sad thing is for a lot of these people, they're probably never going to get what they want if they continue doing it that way. The next trait of successful advertisers is that most of them truly do avoid all the get rich quick people, all the scammers, all the people that promise riches overnight and all those types of things. Now, maybe early on, they might've gotten screwed by one of those things, but they learned quickly and they realized that that is not reality. And as I said before, they don't cheap out on the things that are most important to their business. If somebody's charging a small amount of money for something, you're probably going to get what you paid for. And then the last trait I'll share with you guys today is these successful people typically look and think a little bit longer term. So they're not looking at just this week or the last three days. They're looking monthly or quarterly or longer. It doesn't mean they're not tracking what's going on in the immediate term. They're still paying attention to it, but they're focusing their goals and also analyzing their core data sets in a longer term. People that are not where they want to be or not successful typically are doing this in a much shorter window of time, and they're making decisions based off of data that is not accurate or complete. And that's a big reason why they might be failing. So you guys, these are all really important traits and differences. I encourage you guys to really dig in and listen to this again if you have to. But these things have helped us a lot, and I've seen these traits in many successful people. So I hope that's helped you guys. Episode 360 is in the books. Thank you so much for being here. If you have any questions or you want to connect, again, philgramdigital.com is the website, or you can DM me on Instagram at philgramdigital, and I will talk to you guys on next week's episode. Peace out. Thanks for listening to the Next Level Facebook Ads Podcast. Please remember to subscribe and share this with all your friends. 
For show notes, more tips, and to learn more about Phil, please visit philgramdigital.com slash podcast.